Good evening, I'm Robert Hadlock. Sydney Benter has the night off. Local and federal investigators speaking out tonight with the latest on the serial bombing investigation. It's been over a month since the first bombing. A major question still is whether or not officials would release the killer's confession tape. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell sat in on the news conference late today. And Jacqueline, where does this investigation stand right now? Well, Robert, the U.S. Attorney's Office called us here for a news conference today as a formality. They wanted to announce that the arrest warrant for Mark Condit was officially dismissed after the Travis County Medical Examiner po did positively identify his remains. Investigators made it clear, though, that they still have some loose ends to tie up in this investigation and that it could still take months before it wraps up. They say they're still working to figure out a motive, and they also want to make sure no one else was involved in the bombings. They say even though at this time there are no other suspects. They do just want to make sure. Investigators did tell us a little more about the bombs. Also, they said they actually weren't overly sophisticated, but they could tell that Condit likely had some practice. And they also said they didn't let any time go by between when they nailed him down as a suspect and when they went to arrest him. It all happened on the very same day. The FBI told us investigators are still trying to decide whether they'll release the confessional video found on Condit's cell phone. Is there a value in releasing the audio? We are concerned that it could inspire other people to do other acts. The subject in the audio confession says a number of statements that concern us, and we just don't want that to live forever on the Internet. Austin Police Chief Brian Manley also said there is video in APD's possession of officers cornering Condit, uh, leading him to detonate that final bomb. But because an officer fired during that time, uh, there is an investigation that's ongoing with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office into that officer-involved shooting. And it won't be decided whether that APD video will be released until that investigation wraps up. Live in Austin, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News.